Hello there everyone, I'm Ben, and welcome to the Titanfall beta. Today, this won't be a let's play or anything, because of course it's a beta. Today will probably be a review and my thoughts and stuff on Titanfall. I haven't really followed it. I know it's created by some of the people that made Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2, and I really enjoy them games, especially since I'm not that big on shooter games. But, um, uh, I don't know a lot about this. I haven't really followed it. I signed up for the beta and got in, so I thought I might try and show you guys. So, first off, I'll show the options before we start. So, mouse keyboard settings, yeah, sensitivity, to know for a bit, invert acceleration, key bindings, classic movement, running, shooting, stuff like that. Crouching, grenades, tactical display, yeah, so far. Then there's the controller settings. I'm not using a controller, so there's no point even looking through that, but that's basically layout and stuff like that. Automatic sprint, which is something I haven't actually seen before, which is quite nice. Because there's a lot of running in this game because jetpacks and like parkour and stuff. But it means always sprint and stuff like that. And which is quite a nice feature to have due to the fact that running is, I believe, quite a big act aspect in this game. Audio settings, these are um, for audio, basically. Subtitles are on, headphones, for master volume, voice chat volume, and musical volume. And then there's the video settings, which are the basic qualities. I'm leaving them at the ones I've currently, that the game has automatically placed for me, so I don't get any FPS. Uh, textures, fillings, anti-aliasing, stuff like that. Display mode. Uh, hood, which is the size of your hood, of course. And that's a quite, quite a decent variety on what you can edit for the settings, which is quite nice to have. This is how it's nice to be able to edit the system to work the way you want it to. Work. Anyway, I have no idea what's going to happen there. And we're in. This unit is authorized for military use only. Okay. Possession by an individual. Oh, am I in a pod? Oh, yeah. Damn. I'll have to start training. Simulation. Welcome to the Hammond Pilot Certification Simulator. Warning. Unregistered user detected. This is key accepted. Training pod is authorized. Welcome, oh, What pilot. the hell is going on? To calibrate the AR display, please look at each of the red lights. Give me a second. Uh. Would you like to reverse the vertical look input? No. Visual calibration complete. Simulator initializing. Oh god. This is really cool. Plot training pod initialization simulation muscles. You are free to move Aww. around the simulation. Please walk through the tunnel in front of you. Wait. Since... Wait, um... Can I edit this keyboard settings? Because uh, when it does the aim... Uh... To continue, walk through the tunnel. Yeah, shut up. Yeah, leave it. Because when it aims, it permanently aims, and you have to right click again to get out. Ah, fucking owned. Sprint through the tunnel. Jump over the obstacle. For greater distance, jump while sprinting. Oh, a foot fell. What's this bit? Jump toward the edge of a surface to pull Sweet. yourself up. Nicely done. Sim AI. Oh, AIs. As right. a pilot, your most important piece of gear is your jump kit, Sweet. which allows you to run on walls. Wall run across the gap to proceed. Sprint and jump at an angle to start wall running. Alright. Oh, that's awesome. See, 
this is what I like about Titanfall and games like this. They're unique in certain ways that make them fun. Like this has got the vehicles, of course, which most shooters have. But the sprinting feature of wall running, like in combat, it's well done. really nice features to have, which make me enjoy these type of games a lot more. Which is a great experience as well. Use sprinting, jumping, and wall running to make your way to the exit. All right. Oh, nearly fell then. Jump. And it's quite easy to navigate along like that. Met. See? Really. The wall running as well is quite, quite fun to do. Well, yeah, it's sprinting. Jump bits extend your natural jumping ability. Oh yeah. You can jump once more after leaving the ground. That's awesome. To cover even more distance, wait longer before starting the second jump. Right. Double jump and mantle into the hole above to proceed. Yeah. Oh, I like that. That's awesome. Free form double jump. So I'm guessing. Double jump while wall running, or not? Use wall running and double jumping yeah. to make your way to the exit. Where's the exit? Not there. All right. Excellent navigation. Oh, that's spot. awesome. Cloak. Oh. Visibility. Making yourself nearly invisible is essential to pilot survival. Oh, that's... that's awesome, to be honest. I'm guessing I'll have to wait for it to recharge. Whoa. Alright, see used to kick people. Go wait for it to recharge. See. I thought the texture looked a bit weird when that happened, but it actually kinda suits her. Well done. Cloaking does not last forever. Look at your cloak meter on the bottom left of your screen to monitor your remaining cloak time. Alright. That yeah, was pretty obvious that that was there. Even for a In close training program, this is quite entertaining to go through. With a melee attack. Get close to the target to melee. In your face! If you melee an opponent from behind, you will perform an execution. Meleeing an enemy from the front can be faster, but carries more risk of death. Yeah, it's easy to shoot. To continue, please pull your weapon. The weapon is empty. Load a fresh magazine. This is the smart pistol, an auto-targeting weapon. Oh. Get close enough to a valid target, and the smart pistol will start locking on. Wait for a full lock before pulling the trigger. Use your smart pistol to neutralize the target. That's awesome. Even unique weapons make stuff so fun. Target eliminated. Oh, that's amazing. A smart pistol can lock I'm a terrible shot as well, target. so that would help. I can see how a few people Eliminate could see it as... Targets with your smart pistol. Targets neutralized. I believe this is the best weapon ever made by anyone ever. Some enemies, especially pilots, require multiple locks to kill with one trigger pull. Yeah, kill that would, that makes it. Smart pistol. Target down. That's that's nice because I can see how a lot of people will find this weapon very overpowered due to the fact that you can auto lock and kill your target immediately. So that's a nice feature to have to have to have multiple shots to kill it. Yeah, balancing out quite nicely. Switch to your rifle. Rafo. Even the weapons are pretty snazzy. Take a calculated shot. You can aim down the sights of your weapon. Destroy all of the targets in the shooting range. So I proved to everyone that my shot is awful. Targets neutralized. Grenade, which I probably won't use at all. Should I hardly ever use grenades in Throw anything. Throw a grenade into each of the windows. Fucking all. Ow. That was fucking 
terrible. Jesus Christ, I'm all full of grenades. Well done. Yeah. I, f I killed that. I did amazing then. Combat scenario oh, initialized. Shit. Destroy all opposition in the area. Your mini map is located in the upper left corner of your AR display. Look for the small dots on your mini map to find all the enemy troops. Oh, in a bit frame, right? Go from above. Yeah, this pistol is incredibly helpful for me. Seeing this out like. For this certification, death simulation has been disabled. Oh, so I basically just died. Your view screen tints red. You are close to death. Yeah, pretty much. Avoid taking damage for a short time, and your health will restabilize. Once the red tint on your screen fades away, you have fully recovered. Yeah, you should kick him in the face. Minimal damage sustained during live fire exercise. Well done. Minimal? I died. Combat scenario initialized. Hostile Titanfall imminent. What? Titans will not take substantial damage from small arms fire. Switch to your anti-Titan weapon. Oh, damn. Holy shit. Oh, that's Destroy the Titan with your oh, God. Titan weapon. Oh, so it has like. Sh oh, it has shields. Oh, there it's shields. Okay, Good that makes job. sense. Taking on a Titan is very dangerous, even with the right weaponry. I just thought. That's why you get in. Pilots earn credit towards their next Titan drop. By oh, so it's like um. Once your kill streaks. Built, you can Ordnance drop your drops Titan and stuff onto like the that. battlefield. To continue, please initiate Titanfall. Look to the sky to watch your Titan fall into battle. Yeah, but that's an easy way to die. Get oh, they got a shield around. That's nice to have. Titans are designed to be a natural extension of the pilot. Ah, oh, this is firing so fucking cool. Weapon is as easy as firing a pilot weapon. Kill the hostiles arriving in drop pods. Wait, is that his jump? Is that an attack, yeah. I am severely enjoying this. Hello! Ah! I'm such a terrible shot. Just better at punching people. Excellent. Combat scenario complete. Oh. How'd he die? Alright, no, no man. Titan dash. I'm guessing the rest of the tutorial will be in Titan. Oh. Titans can dash laterally to perform fast directional changes. Please yeah, dash to the left. The dash meter is located below the crosshair like a complete on the idiot Titan if I got that wrong. display. Each blue box represents one dash. Alright. Dash to your right. Dash backwards. Good job. Please proceed to the exit. Titans frequently dash to avoid threats in combat. Move down the hallway while avoiding the rockets. That wasn't very smart. That was very fast rockets. Alright, there we go. Getting the hang of it now.
Even the Titans get different weapons as well. This is really good. To defend against ranged threats, Titans can be equipped with the Vortex Shield. This weapon absorbs incoming ballistics for a limited time That's and refires them. Pretty fucking cool. Oh, that's well awesome. Silly fucking robots. Titan AI control. Quite a lot of modules in here, but there's probably quite a lot to get. Disembark from their to grips on the battlefield. To continue, disembark from your Titan. Head into the control room to open the gate for your Titan. Oh, so it's like you have to work tactically with your Titan. Even though, oh, you have to hold it. Oh wow! Even the knife looks pretty fucking cool. Pilots can control their Titan's AI when they are on foot. The AI can be really? able to follow you or guard its current location. The lower right corner of your pilot HUD displays your Titan's current AI mode. What's that? Put your Titan into follow mode and it will follow you through the gate. That when your Titan is, in follow is mode, absolutely amazing. Close to your position. Get close and to I love your Titan that. And re -embark. I am... That. This is awesome. This is pretty much all I can say. Like that feature. Like. This is. So much to get grips grips with, but it's really, really good. Offhand weapons into combat. These weapons Lie. can be fired at times when primary weapons are unavailable, which enhances your Titan's combat effectiveness. Your Titan has been equipped with the rocket salvo. Try firing your rocket salvo now. A Be chain gun of rockets, because why the fuck not? Firepower in combat. Wait, what? Prepare for your final listening. combat test. Oh, Try to use all of the skills you have learned. Enemy Titan shields temporarily disabled. Oh shit. Oh, enemy Titan. Titan has a shield that deflects incoming damage. Your shield bar wraps above the health bar at the top center of your HUD. If you avoid taking damage for a short time, your shield will recharge. The best pilots will monitor their Titan's shields in combat, uh -huh. taking breaks to recharge as necessary. Wave survived. Prepare for the next wave. Those are really difficult. Next wave incoming. Be advised, enemy titans may now appear with more advanced weapons. Can you shoot them out of the sky? Oh, I was going to say yes, because I thought I did then. Never mind. Rockets! You can even grab rockets. I'm being shot at you. Your Titan's health bar status is located at the top center of your HUD. Yeah, I noticed. Notice that when your health bar goes down, it will not replenish. Once your health bar oh. is depleted, your Titan is doomed to die oh, shortly. you get the eject feature. I know about that. Oops, watch, watch. Go on, fire. There you go. Oh, you dodge it. Jesus Christ, die already! Your Titan is critically damaged. Combat veterans refer to this as Doom State. Your Titan will be self-destruct once it is doomed. That's when you eject, you can use the higher vantage point to plan your next move. That's Excellent. fucking awesome. Your pilot combat certification is complete. Yeah! Bam. I'm now an awesome person with a mech.
For your safety, please stay in the training pod to regain your equilibrium. What the fuck is that? I don't want to stay in the training pod. I didn't think that was a... Yeah, I didn't think that would be... The proper... Welcome to the frontier. 